is Free Radio, the station that brings hope to the hopeless. Listen live now on www.predestinedliferadio.com. Download our app, Predestined Live Radio, and follow our social media pages to stay in touch with what's happening. Hi, this is Jabu Shamani. We hate people of God. This is Bootbanda, the Gospel Boot. Enda, this is Teddy Rowe. This is TK Zama. And you are listening to Predestined Live Radio. And you're listening to Predestined Live Radio Station. You are listening to Predestined Radio. God bless. Who are you listening to? Predestined Radio. What are you listening to? Please do not turn off your radio, but turn up the volume on your receiver as high as it can go. Playing more music on... The station that brings hope to the hopeless. Listen live now on www.predestinedliferadio.com. Download our app, Predestined Live Radio, and follow our social media pages to stay in touch with what's happening. Hi, this is Jabu Shamani. We hate people of God. This is Bootbanda, the Gospel Dude. Enda, this is Teddy Rowe. This is TK Zama. And you are listening to Predestined Live Radio. And you're listening to Predestined Live Radio Station. You are listening to Predestined Radio. God bless. Predestined Radio. Predestined. Please do not turn off your radio, but turn up the volume on your receiver as high as it can go. Playing more music online. This is your favorite radio station. It's a good Tuesday morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday. Today is the 22nd of June 2021. You know what it is? It's 11. It's current affairs with me, Muradi Dusunzi. You know that's all we have to do on a Tuesday morning. You sit, watch on your Facebook, on your YouTube, or you just listen on your website or the app, and you listen to the lady DJ with an angelic voice while I bring you the latest news that is going on right here in Mzanzi. Well, it's not a very um, good morning, I must say, for the... Um, art industry as we have lost an actor this morning we just woke up uh, to the breaking news of losing an actor uh, this morning whom uh, by the confirmation of a family member passed away yesterday his name was Luzu Konteleko we'll look much um, onto that later on we're also going to look at um a very well-known person in the sports industry, Vuyo Manyonga, I, uh, Luvo Manyonga, uh, pardon me. I know a lot of people don't know him as we do not follow um, a lot of uh, sports, especially in the running uh, long jump uh, side of the sports. But we're going to look at that today because it is breaking news what is going on with him and also uh, checking his background of where he came from when he became the Olympics winner back in the days. But before we go there, I'm going to play a nice song for you, Davida Jawa. Then after that, we'll come back and do what we do best. One time did it goes about it to pass away on you. Another one to try to see, try him over me. I know 
station that brings hope to the hopeless listen live now on www.predestinedliferadio.com download our app predestined live radio and follow our social media pages to stay in touch with what's happening hi this is jabu shamani we hate people of god this is bubanda the gospel dude enda this is teddy no this is tk zama and you are listening to predestined live radio and you're listening to predestined live radio station you are listening to predestined radio god bless umana ke to predestined radio umana ke sambhavan but this time please do not turn off your radio but turn up the volume on your receiver as high as it can go playing more music online This is your favorite radio station. It's the current affairs with me Murali right here on Predestined Live Radio. Don't forget you can catch us on our Facebook page at Predestined Live Radio, on our website at www.predestinedliveradio.com. Our YouTube is the same Predestined Live Radio and our new app that is doing the things. You just go to Play Store and search for Predestined Live Radio and it will show up that's where you can listen to all our shows with no interruptions. I did say that uh today we do have uh, a lot of breaking news said news to be exact as we woke up this morning with the hashtag RIP Luzugon Delego uh trending on Twitter um the SA arts industry has lost yet another great actor which is not a very good thing because um Luzu Gonteleko was a very talented talented actor and he was still young apparently he was aged 36 um on the article that i read they say he has been battling cancer for the past uh 2 years which is not a good thing those of you who are still wondering who Luzu Gonteleko is it's been said that he's he has acted on the likes of Isidingo Son 14 and on Mubango i still remember uh his character much on Mubango way he was uh Rendani his boyfriend who had hiv uh that was luzu conteleko for you he was a very 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 uh, talented actor in the south african arts industry the news of his passing was um updated or was tweeted by his sister this morning where she talked about um how he passed away yesterday which is not a very pleasant news to the people who were his fans the people who used to love him because hey how can you not love uh such talent some used to call him a gentleman um in some of the ladies he was the number one crush you know because he was a gentleman handsome for that matter so hey how can we not be heartbroken how can we not be heartbroken because we've lost um a very good 
actor a legend in the making i can say um i did go on twitter and follow the hashtag rip luzukonteleko and see how people are sending their condolences messages uh we have uh at phil mpela uh rip actor luzukonteleko has passed away he was just 36 years old and he uh he sent a broken heart emoji rip luzukonteleko and we also have um tembisa liema numalo at tembisa are each day we lose one each day. He has taken a special part of the art with him. Only a few will understand. Go well, Mta say hashtag RIP Luzukonteleko. And we also have um at TV Mzanzi, they said actor Luzukonteleko has passed away. We will remember him for his enormous talent and contribution to the arts industry. He has acted in shows like Isidingo, Ambitions, Keeping Scores, Ring of Lies, Follow the Street, Zone 14, to name a few. Uh, when we see the list or just a few of the shows that he's acted on, you can see that uh, indeed he was a talented actor because I could say he had um, his talent stretched to a lot of shows on TV. Uh, we also have another tweet um, from Ed Kanya KB. Ari Haibo waking up with sad news that Luzuko is no more. Yo, my condolences to the family and friends. Hashtag RIP Luzuko Ndeleko. It's a very sad day indeed um, to South Africa as a large. It's a very sad day. It's not a good day at all. A very sad Tuesday morning. We've lost an actor. We've lost a legend. We've lost... Some of the ladies have lost their cries. The family lost their brother, their son. You know, um, it's a lot to deal with at this moment. It's a lot to deal with. Also, checking the fact that he was very young and he still had um, a whole lot ahead of him. We still needed to see more of his face on the screens because a lot of people can agree with me that I'm not the only one who used to enjoy his acting. A lot of people used to enjoy his acting and also his good looks, by the way. Um, don't forget, you can watch me live on our Facebook page at Predestined Live Radio. That's where you can also send in your comments. Send in your comments. Tell me how you feel about losing uh, Luzu Conteleco. I know... Um, a lot of people are having different emotions at this moment. A lot of people are feeling sad, you know. So I would like to see you express how you feel in writing on our Facebook page. You can just go and comment on uh, our live right now, the live of the show at Current Affairs with Mim Radio Sunzi. If you can't get it on the Predestined Live radio page, I've made it easier for you. You can also get it on my personal page. Um on my personal facebook page at muredi Rusunza. i do have a few comments here um i have a comment from bernard mfanafuti doing your Ari hi hi there at predestined live radio show with some emojis of hearts and roses hi hi bernard and we also have liz spence hi liz hi liz we did sort out um what you were talking about uh by the way we have to move right along to our next next uh, news headlines i did say that we'll be looking um at the issue of luvo manyonga i know a lot of people you don't know luvo manyonga i also didn't know luvo manyonga until a few days ago when i was scrolling through the internet headlines and i saw the headline um high jumper Luvo Manyonga bent for four years in the industry. And I got very interested in knowing who Luvo Manyonga is because I've never heard of this person. It was my first time hearing of the person Luvo Manyonga. And why did he make the headlines in being a uh, bent in the Olympics? But anyway, um, from an article that was written two days ago by Sports24, the headline says athletics south africa to reach out to inverted commas troubled but talented luvo manyonga after four years ban and i did went on to do a little bit of research on um 
why would Luvo Manyonga be banned? Who is he? What does he do? And from the internet, we did find out that uh, Luvo Manyonga is a South African track and field athlete who specializes in long jump. Uh, the one thing that made him famous was the, was the fact that he won the 2017 um, World Championship in London and the 2018 Commonwealth Games title in the gold coast australia but he was the olympic silver medalist in 2016 in rio de janeiro luva manyonga was born on the 8th of january 1991 in pal mbegweni eastern cape um he has medals uh, at athletics at 2016 summer olympics men long jumps and athletics at the 2018 Commonwealth Games uh, men long jump. Before that, um, before he came back, apparently he came back when he won those medals that I just read here. Before that, he had won the junior of all these medals that he had won. So, uh, before I lie, I would just like to read an article that states a little bit of him being in competitions and winning. Um, it's an article that was written four days ago by Spot24. The headline states, Star SA Long Jump Luva Manyonga receives a four years ban. South African Olympic Long Jump Silver Medalist Luva Manyonga has been handed a four years ban after failing to make himself available for drug testing three times in a 12 month period under Spot's Way About criteria. The Athletics Integrity Unique Unit in brackets AIU announced it on Friday. Manyonga, who took silver at the Rio Olympics in 2016, will now likely miss the next month's Tokyo Games. In January, Manyonga was temporarily banned for failing to notify anti-doping authorities of his location. Um, the 30-year-old, the African record hold holder with the best of 8.65 meters can appeal the ban at the Swiss-based court of arbitration for sport. Athletes must let authorities know their intended whereabouts to allow anti-doping officials to find them. If they fail to do so or give wrong information three times in a year, they can be punished. Um, the AIU said Manyonga missed the first test on November 26, 2019 and was then too imprecise on location details for two others in 2020. Bear in mind that um, Luva Manyonga has a history of being a drug addict. Uh, he was Ivari in Begweni, they call it a tick. It's called crystal meth in the general in that a lot of people know about. Luva Manyonga was a recovering addict when he started uh, winning the the games when he started being out there then apparently because you know COVID-19 hit everyone and sports were bent. We don't know. Apparently he might have fallen off the wagon and gone back to taking drugs. We are not sure it's an alleged apparently so at the moment um, athletics south africa are going on a journey to look for him so that they can help where they can if they can because um barry they haven't seen him for the past year he hasn't been training for the past year and he was supposed to be entering the olympic games that are coming up uh, in the next few months but because he was not there for his uh anti-doping he has been banned for four years he cannot compete you know it's it's a very sad situation because uh, for some of the uh, videos that i seen of him competing we can say that he's a very talented um young man who jumps a lot because i saw somewhere where he was being interviewed by thomas mlambo on uh spot at 10 he did say that he wants to break the world record and he wants to jump nine meters and if you look at some of the the jumps that he's done before you can see that indeed he was getting there because uh he hold the best record of 8.65 meters which is quite appalling if you must ask me it's it's a very long one so i believe a lot of people had faith in him that indeed he will break the world's record by jumping nine meters but at this moment um it's now a matter of a maybe and a maybe not 
since he won't be competing in the Olympics and since also we don't know what's going on in his life at this moment. But um, anyway, we'll be doing um, a follow-up story if there's anything that comes up after this. I do promise that I will come back and update you. But because I believe a lot of people didn't know who Luva Manyonga is. Uh, especially because it's not a lot of people who, who follow athletics. But hey, what can we do? It's a Tuesday morning. It's 11.31 on the clock. It's the 22nd of June, 2021. I'm going to play for you. Uh, you must see Tanai when I come back with more of the stories right here on Predesigned Live Radio Current Affairs with Muredi. Don't forget... On our Facebook Live is at Predestined Live Radio. On our YouTube at Predestined Live Radio, www.predestinedliveradio.com. On our website. Do not forget, you can also get our app on Play Store. You just search at Predestined Live Radio. That's where you can listen to all our shows at any time of the day, anywhere you are. Yuma Sikila Tanai. Enjoy!
is Predestination Radio, the station that brings hope to the hopeless. Listen live now on www.predestinedliferadio.com. Download our app, Predestined Life Radio, and follow our social media pages to stay in touch with what's happening. Hi, this is Jabu Chamani. We hate people of God. This is Bubanda, the gospel dude. Enda, this is Teddy Rowe. This is TK Zama. And you are listening to Predestined Live Radio. And you're listening to Predestined Live Radio Station. You are listening to Predestined Radio. God bless. Who may not be who Predestined Radio? Who may not be who Please do not turn off your radio, but turn up the volume on your receiver as high as it can go. Playing more music online. This is your favorite radio station. Listening to Current Affairs right here on Predestined Live Radio with me, Murwedi. You know, we're together until 12 p.m. on the dot. Um, I played for you Tanayi by you, Masikila. It's such a good, 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 good Tuesday morning, but with a little bit of uh, sad news. Uh, when I look at the Facebook there, um, I see a little bit of comments. I see a comment from Clement, graphic designer, RIP to the soldier. I believe he's referring to uh, Luzu Kondeleko. And we also have a comment from Liz Pence. Condolences to him and his family. Um, another comment from Clement, graphic designer. It's said, hey. And also another comment from Liz Pence with a heart and a smiling emoji. Ari Danai, you masikila Danai. Right now we're going to be looking at um, how uh, the minister of basic education or the minister of education said no schools will be closed even though the country is facing third wave of corona um, virus. Uh, the minister Angie Mutecha said schools won't be closed, even though in Gauteng they're saying that there's uh, um, approximately 20 schools that have been closed so far because of COVID-19. Um, a lot of pupils or a lot of learners and educators are now testing positive for the coronavirus in school which is leading to a lot of schools being closed because they want everyone to be safe at this um difficult time for everyone but then the minister of basic education said no the schools are not being closed uh if by any chance we're going back to the normal attendance of schools that we used to do before COVID-19 because uh, if I, I have to refresh your mind, you have to bear in mind that um, after the co- the schools were closed because of COVID-19 in the early month of 2020, when they opened again, uh, it was proposed that the, the day-to-day running of schools will be changed. If children used to go five days at school, Per week they will now be going two or three days depending on the level of grades they are in um but a few months back it was proposed that since the COVID 19 infections are going down and also there is there has been a vaccine rollout that has been going on in the countries the children must uh, or the learners must start going to school on a daily basis like the how they used to do before COVID 19 but that was before the third wave hit the country now the third wave has hit the country. Infections are now running at 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 new cases per day. And still the Minister of Basic Education is saying no. 
there is no way we're going to close schools because um, our education system suffered last year because we did the same because we did the same thing. So there is no way we are going to close schools by any chance. Kids must be going to school on a daily basis like how they used to do before COVID-19. Uh, this is leaving a lot of learners or children at risk of contracting COVID-19, which at this moment is very strong. Your Harifa, it has more power. It's killing more people. It's affecting more people on a daily basis. And also the teachers are at risk because they are the one teaching the learners. So if by any chance the learners are going to be sick, the teachers are going to be sick. And as the cycle goes, even the parents at home will be sick because when the learners get sick at school, they go back home to their guardians. Uh, it's other parents or grandmothers or whoever looks after them. So they'll also be sick. That is why uh, the educators union or the teachers union of South Africa is against 100% attendance proposal because beside it being a risk, the third wave is now at its peak. It's at that point where it's going up daily. If we have 8,000 cases today, chances are tomorrow we'll have 9 or 10,000. So the 100% attendance proposal, it's a no-no at this moment. Um, that is why I reached out to the IOL News. I got an article with the headlines as third COVID-19 wave looms in South Africa. Teacher union against 100% attendance proposal. They are against it. It says teacher unions have raised concerns about the recent rise in COVID-19 cases amid the proposal to have all primary and special schools return to daily attendance in the second term. The Department of Basic Education had previously announced that it will be formulating a proposal um, on the matter that it would present it to the teachers union, school governing bodies as well as other stakeholders. Uh, while some schools have been allowed to have 100% attendance after they made submissions to the department others particularly disadvantaged schools still have pupils attending on a rotational basis the rotational model where children attend school only a few days a week was implemented to ensure that physical distances takes place in schools in line with COVID-19 regulations uh, there have been concerns that the model was not working and was to the detriment of pupils. According to the unions, uh, the department presented their proposal to them at the weekend. However, at least two unions believe that there is a need to review the proposal as the third wave of the COVID-19 looms. Bear in mind that um, the schools that, that have been allowed or that might have been allowed to uh, operate on 100% attendance, the Zikoro Jine, they do not have a lot of learners or a lot of students in their classes. But in disadvantaged schools, we have schools where uh, a single classroom can be accommodating up to more than 60 or 70 students Per session so you know that that falls like it can't it can't be idle with the fact of 100% attendance because I don't have enough social distancing and beside that um, if they don't do this rotational attendance for the students chances are a lot of students are gonna be affected because imagine it's a schoolyard it has plus minus 1,500 students per schoolyard where is the social distance going to be there if it's it's back to 100 percent attendance uh the reason why they introduced their rotational attendance is because they realized that in most of the disadvantaged schools or government schools they have quite a lot of learners and they do not have enough space to ensure sufficient social distancing if every learner or every student is going to school on a daily basis but at this point uh, it looks like the department of basic education has forgotten why they had implemented rotational um, attendance in the first place because at this point they have um, initiated 100 percent attendance at the same point at, at the same moment we having the third wave of covid 19 which uh, according to the research that we've been reading on and hearing on news it's much much worse than the second 
and first wave so you can imagine how it's going to be like if everything just goes back to normal the kids goes back to school 100 percent attendance on a daily basis it's going to be a disaster if you look at it it's going to be a very 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 big disaster so I think it is time that the, the, the Department of Basic Education really look at their decision of 100% attendance or at least close schools for the time being, maybe two or three months just so we can see um, how the infections are going, whether they're still going up or they're going down. But hey, it won't work. Uh, but anyway, um, with the vaccine rollout, I think it will accommodate um, a lot of teachers because it was announced to require in any phase in the vaccine rollout. Teachers are going to be vaccinated also as they are also frontline workers. So as much as nurses and doctors are being vaccinated, teachers also needs to be vaccinated but as much as teachers are also vaccinated they have to be vaccinated because they will be um, socializing on a daily basis going to schools on a daily basis so as much as teachers are high risk of contracting the virus learners are also high risk of contracting the virus but anyway we do not have a say we just have to wait um for the Department of Basic Education and hear what they have to say about this whole issue. 100% attendance or not. We just have to cross our fingers, keep on praying, keep on staying safe, wash our hands, sanitize, wear your mask at all costs. Um, I did go on Twitter. Uh, I followed the hashtag COVID-19SA. Uh, there is a person on Twitter, a very, very important information here. It's at Pomis Kosana. Are you wear your mask even if no one else around you is wearing it? Hashtag COVID 19 SA. Because if uh, we live by that fact, they are already, she's not wearing a mask. Why must I wear one? Uh, at the end of the day, you are putting yourself at more risk. If you're wearing your mask, you have less chances of contracting the virus compared to when you're not wearing the mask because the person next to you is not um, wearing the mask. But anyway, um, let us stay safe of this pandemic. I know it's a very difficult situation for a lot of people, but um, let's wear masks, let's sanitize, social distancing, avoid indoor gatherings. Let's also allow um, ventilation in public transport. Let's do everything we possibly can to stay safe from the virus. Because as much as the infections are rising on a daily basis, so is the death rate. Uh, as well as they are lucky to contract COVID-19 and still live to tell the tale, Yauri, I once contracted COVID-19. Uh, it's not a lot of people on Facebook. Uh, we're getting least spends. Uh, that's true. School kids will catch the virus if it's 100% attendance. Climate graphic designer, they don't care about our children. Well, it looks like that. It looks like they do not care at all what's going to happen to the children. And it's like they're not looking at the fact that or if Banawa infect you, the parents are also going to be um, at a high risk because the children, whenever they're around it, they live with parents. So it's, it's, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. But anyway, let me play for you Tatiana Manois helplessly while I'm going to come back with more, 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 more of breaking news. Enjoy.
from going to you distract me but i'm distracted without you i don't know how to focus baby teach me how to cause i'm standing still again but if you love me just like the way that i love you i wouldn't mind a little comforting from you why do i let you Sometimes, but you're always on my mind. You're not open to me, you're not open to me, you're not open to me. You're not open to me, you're not open to me, but I helplessly fall for you. Now I'm running late, and I'm not a coffee drinker, but I lost sleep just thinking of you. To wake up, I need me some love. Now give it to me. Cause everywhere you go, I'll follow you. I'll give you all of me, give me all of you. I gotta go sometimes, but you're always on my mind. See, you distract me, but I'm distracted without you. I don't know how to focus, baby. Teach me how to. Cause I'm standing still again. Cause if you love me just like the way that I love you, I wouldn't mind a little comforting from you. Why do I let you in my head? No. And I gotta go sometimes, but you always. It's Peter Radio, the station that brings hope to the hopeless. Listen live now on www.predestinedliferadio.com. Download our app, Predestined Live Radio, and follow our social media pages to stay in touch with what's happening. Hi, this is Jabu Shamani. Hey, hey, people of God, this is Bubanda, the Gospel Dude. Yenda, this is Teddy Lowe. This is TK Zama. And you are listening to Predestined Live Radio. And you're listening to Predestined Live Radio Station. You are listening to Predestined Radio. God bless. Who am I to Predestined Radio? Who am I to Predestined Radio? Please do not turn off your radio, but turn up the volume on your receiver as high as it can go. Playing more music online. This is your favorite radio station. And you're still listening to Predestined Live Radio with me, Muredi Sunzi, right here on Current Affairs. It's almost the time for us to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. It's four minutes before the hour 12 o'clock. And I have the last story for us for today. Well, we'll be looking at um, 
where they're saying that Gauteng is accounting for half of SA daily COVID cases, which makes Gauteng the hotspot of the third wave of COVID-19, which is not a good thing. Um, they're saying that in all the cases that they're reporting daily, half of the cases are coming from Gauteng province, of which in that province, uh, the hotspots are growing on a daily basis or the list of the hotspots is getting longer and longer and longer. Uh, I don't know what this means. I don't know whether it means that the people of Gauteng are not staying safe or they're not uh, abiding with the loss of COVID-19 or what, but a um, it's a tricky, tricky situation. They're saying that uh, it is expected by next month there's going to be a peak. They're predicting a peak by next month, which means whatever that is going on at this moment, they're regarding it as a start. It might or it will get worse by next month, which is July. Uh, aging everyone who is residing in Gauteng to stay safe, sanitize, wear your mask, social distance, avoid indoor gatherings because, guys, we can see that they're saying that more than 2,800 2, people have been hospitalized at this moment with more than 19,000 active cases reported. Uh, we have a, a, a statement from the Gauteng Premier, Mr. David Makura. He said, as we speak, now Gauteng accounts for half of the daily cases that are reported nationally. Meaning that if we have 10,000 cases today, 5,000 are from Gauteng and the remaining 5,000 is divided amongst uh, the remaining eight provinces of the country and they're proposing that if they see that um the infections are rising more than they are now they might um opt for stricter uh, covid 19 restrictions for how they so you see the more you don't stay safe the more you do indoor gatherings the more you don't sanitize the more you infect each other the more we're gonna have uh, more difficulties while living because as far as i'm concerned um, a lot of schools in Gauteng have closed. Like I said before I played your song, the same that more than 20 schools in Gauteng have been closed because of uh, the, the cases that are being reported daily. Uh, some of the universities that I know have opted for online learning, but some are still being, um, let me say, they're still being stubborn. But anyway, this really shows that the, the virus is getting serious on a daily basis with Gauteng being the hot spot. Anyway, it's one minute before 12 o'clock. I'm going to love and leave you. I know you don't want me to leave. I know, but I have to leave, you know. It's that time. But anyway, don't worry. Don't miss me too much. It's just uh, seven days or six days from now. See you next week, Tuesday, while I come back with more of the current affairs of the breaking and news stories that are happening right here in Zanzi. I will love and leave you. Um, I'll see you again next week where we'll be having more fun looking at the current affairs. It's me, Muredi Sunzi on Pretty Stand Live Radio, www.prettystandliveradio.com at Peter Stein Live Radio on YouTube and Facebook. I'm gonna close off by playing a very nice song for you, Music Wajai Vanyan. I'm gonna play Mubiri Wanga by Mark Hadzi while you wait for the next show that's gonna come right here on Peter Stein Live Radio. Don't go too far because the next show is just as exciting as mine. See you next week, Tuesday. Bye!
are all beautiful in different ways. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Speed FM Radio, the station that brings hope to the hopeless. Listen live now on www.predestinedliferadio.com. Download our app, Predestined Live Radio, and follow our social media pages to stay in touch with what's happening. Hi, this is Jabu Chamani. Hey, hey, people of God, this is Bubanda, the gospel dude. Enda, this is Teddy Rowe. This is TK Zama. And you are listening to Predestined Live Radio. And you're listening to Predestined Live Radio Station. You are listening to Predestined Radio. God bless. Who may not be who pre radio? Who may not be who pre Please, please do not turn off your radio, but turn up the volume on your receiver as high as it can go. Playing more music online. This is your favorite radio station.